Good morning and welcome back to La La Land. So guys, today we are gonna be doing some pretty fun, awesome things. Can't wait for you to see what's going on. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage yesterday. We had such a great time. If you guys get a chance, please make sure you can go to that. However, buy a fast pass because those lines were real. Like I, I truly do feel like they totally oversold that place. Every line was like an hour. I feel like, wait, don't you feel like? Yes, I totally agree. Woman of many words. <laughs> However, we're about to walk into Sports Chalet. Because we're uh, doing the mud run next weekend. Which I wasn't going to tell you, but we are doing the mud run next weekend. If you guys don't know what the mud run is. It's a 5K run with an obstacle course in the mud. She was supposed to say Google it, but yes, it is a five <laughs> a 5K like course run and it's like you're slapped in the mud it's like you're going under bob wires it is like like they use this to train military so it's going down your boy's gonna spend this week prepping for it so you guys hold me accountable for some of that gym life because it's going down so guys we are in sports chalet aimlessly walk around i'm not i'm actually not really sure why we're here this one right here wanted to come Lord knows why, but we are just chillax. We're kind of bored today. We have to go into Ikea So we get some cool stuff at Ikea if not anything actually we're gonna get hot dogs and yo listen I am so about that Ikea Lingonberry if you guys get a chance go into Ikea Go to the, like the food section where they serve the food and ask for something called Lingonberry Bruh, it is so good like I, I should go where they make it and just bottle it at the source apparently Ikea is like a Swedish company and in Sweden they have these lingonberries that literally grow wild like in the fields there But it's weird because it's like a cross between like a grape and like a cranberry But like I I want that forever like that is life and in, in my Drake word. I want that forever Excuse me, sir um, What is what is your favorite YouTube channel? Excuse me. Oh, it's it's not DMV La La Land <laughs> Shut your mouth Shut your mouth. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ikea. We are walking into Ikea right now, which just happens to be one of Veronica's favorite destinations. Her home away from home. Please stop saying that because this is not my favorite destination. Favorite destination. Anyways, so we're about to come and get some hot doggies. If you guys know anything about these hot dogs, they're all beef, they're delicious, and you remember I told you about that lingonberry juice? It's about to go down. Isn't that right, Baby Lips? This is not my favorite store. <laughs> At Ikea, the food line. It's about to get real. Ice. And they have the good ice, guys. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's the good ice right lingonberry there. Lingonberry juice. And then there it goes. Lingonberry. And then you always have to taste it. Always have to taste it. <laughs> Get some more. And that's magic, baby. Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, so we have a turkey hot dog. And fixings is ketchup and mustard. Here goes nothing. That's good. That's real good. So guys, listen. I see how people could come here and spend their entire day just hanging out. This is like the day of just doing nothing. But there's so much stuff that you can get here. Like, it's so funny. People are literally just like hanging out on couches, laying down. I've seen a lady taking a nap as I walk by. This place is awesome. And the funny thing is if you do some research, there's a guy, the guy that owns it. Filthy rich, by the way. But the man is a genius. You guys look up, you know, the story of the guy who owns it. It is out of this world. Ikea is everything. I'm sure whatever city you're in, there's Ikea in there. And make sure when you do go to Ikea, you get some damn lingonberries. 
So guys, I don't know if you can see this. We walked all of Ikea for this little shindig right here. Think about it. You walk all the way through here and you come through these little setups and this one right here pulls out her own little shindig. Oh, please don't. She's so excited. <laughs> she got it. Bruh. Look at these lines at Ikea though. Are you effing kidding me? There's nothing. So throw in Ikea products <laughs> and it drops out, baby. Hashtag LA problems. And, there, and there's someone in the passenger seat. Did you guys hear that? There's somebody in the passenger seat. Hashtag LA problems. Crazy. Bruh. That is everything. Hi. Son. Look at our, well you guys can't see it. I'll show you our little shindig. This is everything right now. I got something for Dustin so he can vlog and drive safely. Thank Veronica for that guys because your boy's out here fast and the furious driving reckless. But here's the funny thing. A lot of new YouTubers have been on hands-free vlogging. DMV La La Land, we've been on that. All y'all other YouTubers, y'all late. Y'all late to the party. What? Hashtag safety life. We haven't been on it. We just purchased this this piece of equipment that is dope that will now allow hands-free vlogging while driving. Purchased it over a month ago. We just haven't used it. Purchased it over a month ago. Because we were gone. Over a month ago. We bought it before we left. Catch up other YouTubers, catch up. So guys, as you can Hi. see, we are headed towards dinner tonight. So At Macau. It's a place called Macau's House of Macau. House of Macau. It's in Hollywood. It's off Vine Street if you guys ever get a chance. It's our first time checking it out and we are so excited because as you guys know from watching DMV La La Land, we love to eat, we love to travel, and we love to travel and eat. So um, for you new subscribers that came on, welcome. It's Dustin, Veronica, you just joined the best team on the tube and we're excited to have you. Um, and once again, for the people that have been with us, I hope you guys have been loving what we've been pushing out and we continue, continue to continue to keep out good quality coming. So we also love hair and makeup, hair and makeup and video games. <laughs> okay guys. So as you can see behind me, I don't know if you can see behind me, <laughs> we were walking on the Hollywood walk of fame headed towards our reservations at house of Macau because you know your boy turns up on some good food. If you guys have never been to LA, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have not been to LA, there's so much great food all over this place, so we try to try new restaurants as much as we can, but I feel like there's like a thousand restaurants that open up every single day here. So, with that being said and done, check out Macau, China, because it's about to go down at the house of Macau. Is that right, baby bird? Hey guys, so this is Rose Sangria. It's good, I this is the House of Macau signature drink for this one right here. Ronnie Bird. So guys, we are literally just leaving dinner. I've got to say, in all due respect to that establishment, it was not my favorite Chinese food in LA. It was cool. Good venue. The venue is awesome. The venue was pretty cool. 
the food was extremely anticlimactic, unfortunately, considering that I love eating good Chinese food, and that just was not it. That was just not it. Not at all. The venue was awesome. I'll see me though. Hold on, guys. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. $8? How much? $8. Good lordy. $8 for parking, guys. You hear that? There you go. Thank you. Have a good night. See so, ya, yeah, guys. Like I was saying, the food was cool. It wasn't great. And the weird thing about it is being in Los Angeles, when you live in LA, you can't like half ass on the restaurant scene. You have to like, you have to be something like, something that nobody else can mess with. Cause there's so many restaurants. Like I was saying earlier, it's like a thousand restaurants that open every single day. And unfortunately, a lot of these restaurants that don't bring forth their best effort, never make the cut. No matter how deep their pockets are, people push them out of this town. So. Though that was a cool place, good drinks, cool venue, I don't know. Go to Chick-fil-A instead. For all our foodies that follow this vlog, I apologize about that last statement. Chick-fil-A is good. It's better than House of Macau. Yeah. Sorry, House of Macau. You used to call me on my cell phone. Late night when you need my love. Call me on my cell phone. Late night when you need my love And not knowing that So guys, thank you so much for chilling with us and having a fantastic day. We're excited to have you on board and welcome to La La Land, you newbies. <laughs> so guys, always remember to comment, share, like, and most importantly, subscribe. And until tomorrow, peace. peace.